Alright, hi Nicola. Um, welcome to this Attitude online video interview. Hi, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, straight off the bat, I want to ask you to imagine yourself as um, one of your contestants. And as that person, tell me five things about you as that person. Okay, if I can imagine myself as one of my contestants, I would have to pick Taisha Carrington. And as Taisha, I would have to say that I am creative. I'm soft-spoken, but still, yeah, you know, out there in the open. I would also have to say that I am hardworking. I am also fun-loving. And as Taisha would always say, I'm nice. Okay, okay. Um, so, is there a separation between the Nicola, the Miss Barbados Nicola, and Nicola Maynard in real life? Well, I don't want to say that there's a separation. I tell people what you see basically is what you get. So that fun-loving person, the life of the party that my close friends would know. I'm the same way around the girls. So, say for instance, if I had to say something really funny, they would go like, yeah, that's so Nicola for sure. So there's no separation whatsoever. Okay. Yeah. So Nicola, I, I mean... We were just talking about the bond that you girls have. Um, so tell me, what's um, an average Miss Barbados world day like? What do you guys do all day? Oh wow, well, um, definitely all that glitters is on goals. For the girls, um, you know, you only have 24 hours in a day and literally it's only 12. And for you to really maximize all of your time, I, I don't normally get up say around 7, 8 o'clock because you have to go to the gym, you still want to be working with your charities, you have to be working um, practicing for your talent and of course there are many different appearances that you have to go to. Um, sponsors want to see the girls and you kind of need to put yourself out in the public, their interviews. So it's a packed day and of course by the time you get home, you really want to just crash and burn, take a nice hot shower and just start all over again. So it's really busy but at the same time, I feel like if it's my job and it's my role, so I was telling a friend the other day, when this whole pageant is finished, it's just like, what am I going to do because it's occupying all of my time but I'm definitely enjoying it all the way. Yeah. So I know you said um, you know, after that long day you go home to unwind and stuff but like yeah. what else do you, do you do or do, like do you think some of the girls do to like unwind or like de-stress or whatever? Well I'm a beach bum so every opportunity I get to go to the beach I'm always there from the beginning of the competition um, I remember messaging one of the organizers just to let her know, you know where I was going and it was after 8 o'clock and I was heading to the beach and she thought I was you know, losing my mind but that's my place of serenity um, What else do I do? I relax with my family because right about now I'm staying with my dad um, in St. James so my two little sisters and little brother helps me to also unwind with their little corny jokes or just spending time with them alone um, Of course I miss mom also in St. Philip but I find time to relax and just breathe take long walks, I'm always walking, um, yeah, anything, I'm, I'm a pretty relaxed person, so I don't need to go out of my way to, you know, melt down, if you want to say that, and ice cream and chocolate, also does a trick. Okay, so, um, let's go from unwinding to the big night, right? Woo, okay, yeah, like, <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Like, tell me about that night, like, I'm pretty sure you imagine like how that night is gonna go like all perfect and stuff so like tell me give me a short you know synopsis of what you think that night is gonna be like for you fingers and toes crossed that everything will go perfect mm -hmm. but um being on the stage before i'm just imagining more lights more people mm -hmm. a longer panel of judges and people just supporting me um to be honest every night i actually go home and picture how coronation night will be how it would look how you know am i gonna get every routine right it's really nerve-wracking to be honest, but the in my mind, in my imagination, the coronation light, night, sorry, that's pretty hopeful and good and exciting, especially for the talent segment, but for definitely coronation night, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't want it to come to an end, but unfortunately it does, but I'm looking forward to it, definitely. So, I mean, since you're looking forward to it and everything, so like, what advice could you give to someone to who's entering the pageant next year, who's on this journey that you're on, what advice would you give to them to make this role, you know, easier for them? You know? Um, I would say come mentally, physically and emotionally ready. So you might see us as seven delegates or you might see me as, as Nicole and say, Well, she's always laughing, she's you know, always so free spirited and you know, she looks like she's good all the time. 
but in reality we do have our moments where we just sit and cry because it seems like nothing else is actually going right I would also advise girls not to necessarily come in the, the pageant sorry, looking to seek or gain confidence you must come with it already because it's a big pageant you know um, you're putting yourself out there you need to be determined and you really need to keep your eye on the goal your eye on the prize and um, even if you don't win the pageant you just know many opportunities will be open for you and I remember um, one guy said um, people think that we are lucky or persons will consider people being lucky but it's like preparation and then there's opportunity and because you're prepared and the opportunity arises then you know you feel like if you're lucky when truth and in fact you're always preparing and you're always developing as a person so that's a tip for any girl and trust me enjoy the journey it's fabulous and you know you can always look for me after the competition to get a few pointers I'll be willing to help no doubt so you learned all that stuff for sand by trailing there and stuff like that. Definitely. Um, I remember talking to my stepmom the other day and I was saying, looking back at the, at the different competitions, um, I was saying, I'm just like, where was I going, you know? There's Barbados Amateur Model Series, Miss Team Barbados, and even looking back, back at the photos, I'm just like, Nicola really blues, definitely. Um, all by trial and error, I can't say that I regret any experience from I can't say that I regret the experience of um, losing competitions to, you know, it's all, it's all been a process to get me where I am and I'm really thankful for everything that I've done to help propel me to this level. That's really admirable mm -hmm. actually. Speaking of um, young people, um, what do you think of the state of the youth today? Like our generation, what do you think? Um, I love my generation so I'm not going to ever pray on my pe um, young people. Um, I think that to some extent, we need to get more focused. Um, we, we're kind of fly by, want things to come easy, and of course because of technology and you know, some parents may be even earning more money than before, you kind of literally have everything at access. And I, I remember my father telling me one time, you know what, I have earned my things because I've worked hard for it. And I'm not going to make a way for you, Nicole. You have to be able to make a way for yourself. So that's just one encouragement that I would like to give young people. Create your own name, you know. Don't live off of your parents or grandparents or what people may think that you have or see visually. Um, I just want us to be more hardworking and really go after what we want. Um, and be, be creative and objective. So, I mean, like if you ask uh, any young person, you know, um, that question that I asked you before I mean it will give you the standard answers so do you think that like you gave those answers because of like the preparation for Miss Barbados world yeah and, definitely. and the journey and everything but like do you think if you wasn't in Miss Barbados world you would still have that outlook on the youth of today I probably wouldn't I'm not gonna sit here and say I probably wouldn't but I guess that's why everything happens for a reason so that you're able to realize where you were and not settle at your position at your current state and you know that if I want to develop Nicola I need to go out of my comfort zone and go a step further than before or not settle or rest on my loins yeah so thank you thank you pageant for <laughs> helping me become more wise most definitely okay. um, yeah, off topic, but do you have a boyfriend, you know, and what does he think of, if you do, what does he think of all this and all that stuff? Well, no, I don't have a boyfriend at the moment, so I can't answer that question. Oh. Yeah. But if you had to have a boyfriend, right, how would you imagine, would he be supportive and, you know, because you always, you said you were busy all day, like, how do you think he would react to having such a go-getter cool girlfriend, you know? Well, I would hope that he would be really proud of me to know that I go after what I want. And I would also hope, I'm not going to have any expectations, I would hope that he will be supportive and feel proud that his girlfriend is doing big things, you know, and she's, she's making a name for herself. But at the same time, you're not supposed to have a boyfriend at the moment, so I think I get off pretty lucky being a single girl, and single life really isn't bad at all. Um, you get to do some soul searching, and I get to figure out who Nicola is and what's the next step for Nicola, so right, right. no boyfriend. Okay, interesting. Well, the interview certainly was interesting, and you know, I like thank, thank you. you for taking your time out to talk to us at Attitude. Most definitely. Thank you, Attitude, for the opportunity. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, yeah, best of luck to you in the competition. Thank you. All right, bye.